Scott Jana from Creative Chaos in Tennessee and today I am back with an extra embellishment video. Um, I posted this challenge that was issued by Marjorie Ann Designs. It's a card sketch challenge over in my Facebook group which I now have if you don't know come and join. Um, but she um, posted this challenge and I decided to take it down and I shared it in the group and I had several of you guys message and say that you would really like for um, me to show you guys how to put it together. So I'm going to do that. You can see my card that I did. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. I love it. I love it. All the little details. Okay, so this is all the pieces that you will cut out on your Cricut. And I just wanted to go over her rules. Um, this is the, I think the third one. So pretty much you get this file for free. You just have to send your email. You have to call me on her post, which it will be linked below. And um, they will email you the file. So you get it for free. And I made this card, but I also cut out multiple more little mouses. Aren't they adorable? Um, to use since I am scrapbooking sunflowers this month but it says please only ask for the file if you intend to play along if we send you the file you must agree to send us your results failure to use the file as intended will remove you from all future challenges don't ask for the file if you don't intend to play along please leave your email address here or message us with your email if you would like to be a part of the challenge Design Team Administration Mary is sending all files for me. You must use real paper, no digital papers. You can use whatever colors you would like. You can use whatever eyes you like. Entries are due by September 1st, 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Send completed card to MarjorieAnnDesignTeam at gmail.com. A winner is picked randomly and will win a $10 gift certificate to the website. Now, I have been using lots of her files. They are amazing. I absolutely love them. And she does have a base for them, which makes it really easy to put them together. As you can see, I have already inked all the pieces. And I did size my mouse down just a little bit than what she had it. Um... It would have set bigger in the the circle and this is a five by seven card so it's kind of big so if you wanted to make it a standard size card you could size everything down a little bit um but you do get the card file and the mouse file there's two in in one and um like the rules say, you have until September 1st to enter it. And all you do is enter it. You don't have to mail her anything or anything like that. You just have to email her a picture of your finished card. And you end up getting a free file, which is awesome. So, I hope you guys, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, um, you will take advantage of that and play along. So, I'm just going to start assembling. Um... I like to assemble things first that go together. So, that means the sunflower, since it has multiple parts to it. I'm just going to put that down. And then this is going to be the center for the sunflower. And you could totally put this on foam and pop it up or whatever you so choose. I have all these little diamond dots out here because that's what I use for the center of my sunflower. I'll go ahead and add them. That way it'll have a little bit of time to dry. And I just take my little pickup tool here. And I just, you could use bling. You could use, um... I use these diamond dots because I have a million and one of them because my mother does diamond art and she likes to gift me all of them. And um, so I have all the colors. She actually, um, don't tell her if you know her, if you know me in real life, um, don't tell my mom because she actually gave me these um, for as replacements 
for the diamond art things that she did for us to hang on the wall. And <laughs> she's like, here's your, here's your replacements. Now, we have a bunch of diamond art she's did for all of us in the family. And they come with these numbers. What's that mean to me? I don't do diamond art. That don't mean anything to me. So, I'm like, she's like, um, have you had to use them? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, if you know her, um, in real life, don't, don't tell on me that, um, I've actually been using it on my, my paper craft stuff and not to repair the diamond arts that fall off. <laughs> okay, so here's the, um, these little things, all the little sunflower seeds, and these pieces are really, really tiny. Okay, trying to make sure I'm staying in frame so I can somewhat see y'all. Okay, next is I like to glue the eyes, so we're just going to glue this, and you just leave a little bit of white on the outside. Now, it does say you can use any eyes you want, so... There's actually some files out there for eyes that you can get to make them a different shape or whatever. They're all super cute, so I just choose to use the ones with it and make it easy on myself. You could even use googly eyes if you wanted to. Okay, so now my eyes are together. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my acorns together and these just go on here okay my acorns are together oh my ears this is an ear and this one's an ear and these are just the centers that goes in them And then this is my face, of course. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up my cheeks. And I just have my little makeup brush and my chalks. Decorative chalks. These things are super old. Y'all saw me use them. You can tell I usually only use the red. Um, but I just go in and put a little bit on the cheeks. And then I brush it off so that it's not super bright. Okay. So then we have that part done. So now we're ready to, actually we can go ahead and put these on here. And then we're ready to start assembling everything. Okay, so first step is going to be your feet because it's going to build, and these are your feet. So I'm just going to add some glue. And his little feet on here. And then next, I am going to add his tail. I used really thick um, basil cardstock to cut this body out, so it wasn't the best trying to get it off of my mat. So it looks all ripped up on the back, but it looks perfectly fine on the front, so it's all right. I don't know if y'all can tell. You can see where um, it was thicker and I pulled when I was pulling it off, but the front's perfect, perfectly fine. Okay, so then next we are going to add his belly, which is this. I'll finish pulling this piece off. his belly on and it goes up here at the top it will not line up down here this is where his pants are going to be if you see the little 
um, extra spot right there. That's just um, where his pants are going to cover up. So make sure his bellies are covering up all this part up here because that's the part that's going to actually be seen um, once you put it together. So then you're going to add his pants next. And little overalls. And you're just going to pretty much line it up down here on the other part that was still showing. Okay, and then we're going to put ears on. And they just line up. And I am putting it down. That's why I put the tail on first because it shows that um, on her example of what it's supposed to look like, it shows the tail is in behind. So that's why I did that. And so we have the ears on now. So then we're going to put the head on. And this is a little bit heavier, so I'm being pretty generous with the glue. All right, and you're just going to line him up and press it down. You could totally put this part on foam tape just to have him popped up a little bit. But like I said, I use thick cardstock. Um, this was like really thick basil cardstock. Let's see what it was called. Um peanut cluster it says and you can see where it ripped some of it and I pulled it up but the fronts were fine even though I used it on a really heavy uh, cardstock setting so there's its face so then next um, it has his little muzzle I guess you could say and y'all know I like to add the extra so I did give him some little whiskers using fishing line so i stowed this from my husband so let's not tell him about it i'll try to put it back before he gets home from work and then he won't know so i'm just going to cut two pieces off of this you could use all kinds of things for whiskers but i found that i always like fishing line the best so then, for his little muzzle, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm just taking my little pokey tool, and I'm poking a hole here, and one here, and then I'm doing one that's over, so that it'll look more natural whenever we put them in. Okay, so then we have our four little holes, if you can see that. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Okay, and then you just take your fishing line and you're going to go in and then out of this hole that matches up with that one on the back side of it. If I wasn't half blind. <laughs> I might could get it through there. Okay, let's make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay. So, you have the first one in. And you're going to do the same thing for the second one. And then I like to just push them down so that they'll lay, they'll lay downwards because if you start gluing them on um, with them up, you'll have some of them with the whiskers up like this, which if that's the look you're going for, that's well and great, <laughs> but I want them facing down. So then I just put glue all around this and I glue his little face on. Hold it down for a minute so that it'll glue really good with that string there. 
and then I just go back in and snip them and then I snip the top one a little bit longer than the bottom one and then I do it a little bit shorter just so that it looks more natural so then you can see you got your your little whiskers on him okay and then I'm gonna put my eyes on and they just kind of sit at the top of his little muzzle you could turn them in turn them out ever how you want to do them you can space them further apart closer together um, ever how you want to do it okay so then we need his nose which is this and then we're just gonna put his little nose on here okay so now before I start gluing all the other things like arms and all that stuff well actually let's put the pocket down so here's the little pocket that goes on here and then it has those two little bitty tiny pieces and I think I done lost them. Where are they? Oh, there's one of them. I know that y'all probably can't even see them. They are tiny, tiny, tiny. It's just like a little X. I'll just use my white pen and, and make the mark on there. But, um, because I've lost one of my pieces and I don't want to cut it again because they're so little. Okay, so after we have that done, then we are going to, I like to go in with my black pen. This is just a Sharpie S Gel uh, 1.0. And it's just a little clicker pen. I get lots of questions about these. This and my white pen. I buy these at Walmart. This one also. I'm going to be using this one. But it is a Jelly Roll um, 10. The pack at Walmart I have found works so much better. And you can, um, they don't dry up like the ones that Hobby Lobby does. You can see I've really used this one since I bought it. I'm, I'm going to have to buy more. But it comes with three different sizes in the pack. But the 10 is my favorite for doing my highlights. So I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do his little eyelashes. You can do as many or as little as you want. You could do a fine, um, a really fine pen to do them if you wanted to. Um, that's the key to getting... A really good cute look with eyelashes is to use a fine point pen and this one's good enough but there's some that's even finer and you could do like really luscious um, eyelashes like it shows on on her sample picture so it also had eyebrows that it cut out and they're tiny so I just went in and made my own eyebrow marks okay so then that part's done. So then we're going to attach this sunflower. Actually, we're going to put this arm on first. Just kidding. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of glue and it's going to go in behind because it's going to be the one that holds the sunflower. So then we do the sunflower and add it on. Let's see. And this arm's going to come around. But I like to, before I glue it, I like to try to line up where my sunflower needs to get glued first. Okay, so I'm just putting a little strip of glue there. That's why I like to do the eyelashes and all that stuff first, so I'm not trying to work around it. Okay. So then the sunflower's down, and what I like to do is just take a piece of foam tape. I don't pull the back off, but I just put it right here on the back of the sunflower so it will pop it up more than the little mouse, and it helps stabilize it some. And then I'm just going to do, do the other arm, put it on, and put it here so that it's still slightly holding the stem. 
And then that does leave his overall right here. So I just put a diamond dot there for a little button. Some white ones that I had. But you could totally, if you had a little tiny button, you could totally put that on there. Okay. So, that's pretty much our mouse, and this is our acorns, of course, but I'm not making another card. I'm going to use these on my scrapbook pages. So, now it's time to do the pen work. So, like I said, my white gel pen, and I'm just going to go in and kind of follow along with the lines and um, just do a few little highlights here and there. And... I'm going to give it freckles. You know I'm giving it freckles. I give everything freckles. It doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to draw in some eyes. And the nose highlight in here. And I'm just drawing some little lines here. And then I didn't add the little um, X's, so I'll just do that with my, my white pen and then just make some little marks around it. Highlight the tail a little bit. And it looks like that's about it. Um, yeah. I think it is. I think that's all. Oh, I didn't do the flower. Okay. So, pen work on the flower. I made quite a few of these. Because, y'all know, if I do an embellishment video, I always do a giveaway. So, in order to win one of these little guys, because this is not part of a swap or anything. So, if you want one, you have to leave a comment. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment. Tell me, are you playing along with this challenge? Are you going to try it? You should try it. You should try it. And um, it's a free file. Um, but only if you have the time commitment to put into it and actually make the card. So that you can play along in the future. Um, I think she started doing this maybe once a month. So... It's been really fun. Oh, I didn't do my pen work on these acorns. So, I kept it simple. I just put X's across them like that. And then I just did my little highlight on the bottom. So, it was really simple. But, if you do play along, I would love, love, love to see what you create. over. Post it over in my group. Um, in the embellishments album. And um, just share what you're working on because I love to see it. Um, and I hope you guys will play along. And like I said, leave me a comment for a chance to win this. And I will do the drawing on the last day of the month with all the rest. So thank you guys for hanging out. And until next time, bye y'all.